Hey guys, Video Fletcher, and well, brought to my attention by a guy called Oscar. Um, he's been on my friends list for a while, and I didn't know he posted Gears videos, and he sent me a private message saying, you know, I'm looking, you know, can you check this out, and can you just basically just give your opinion on it? The video was called uh, Gears 3 Matchmaking and How I Would Have Done It. Now, this has only got 100 views, and... I just thought I'd help bring some attention to it, but I'm going to do my own take on it. Um, now, just as a sort of insight, um, I don't believe I'll be playing this game in a month's time. Um, I'm hoping the DLC or some major change will happen, but honestly, I'm, I'm not only bored with games purely because I'm getting older. Um, I enjoy playing games, you know what I mean, but... I don't have that. I don't have that passion for games, and also Gears was the only game I played. The only reason that I have an Xbox is because of Gears of War. I don't play Call of Duty. I rented that last night. Um, no, a, a couple of nights ago. Um, I rented it for like four nights. I did the campaign on Veteran, and I died like twice. So it, they've even made the campaigns on Veteran much easier. Everything, everything games-wise, just got easier. And I'm going to give my talk on the matchmaking and how I would have done it. Um, another insight is a guy called Shlu, who basically helps out all the competitive community. He he sort he sort of you know he he's ran a lot of forums in the past, and he's he talk he basically talks to every competitive player, and he basically put a comment on my video of how to fix Gears War and basically said I wouldn't even bother. I wouldn't even bother trying to fix the game because all the competitive players are quitting after EGL5 and moving on to the title. The game's garbage. And honestly, it's a shame, but <clears throat> it's the way it's got to be because the game, the game didn't, the, the game didn't cater. Um, it didn't set out what it, what it said it was going to do, really. It said it was going to kind of chop and change things, make things more interesting, more competitive. And honestly, it's, it's, it's not. And I'm gonna give my opinion now. Like I say, if you if you're not interested, then whatever. But I'm gonna do it. Um, so, just to keep things really simple, um, I wouldn't have changed a lot from Gears One. Now I know that will hurt to do upon the forums where everyone will say, "Oh, you just want Gears One. You just want Gears One." Well, yeah, I do, because everybody knows that Gears One has been better than Gears Two or Three. You can't deny that now. Um, for people that were questioning Gears 3 is better than Gears 1, um, some instances it is, and I'll go on to explain that, but think about it. Gears 1 came out in 2006, and it's still played now. Last night, I went on and I could find a full game lobby within 10 seconds. Um, that's ranked as well. I can't do that on Gears of War. You've seen some of the numbers that I've posted up in my other video. I didn't post them, they were just there. And you've got some American people saying, wow, four people in your region... And honestly, that was the first night that there was even ranked. Um, half the time there isn't even ranked. And the reason because of this is the whole the whole game got changed because the way it's laid out. And uh, you've seen this picture on the screen. And there's me in uh, just a regular lobby. Instantly, um, I would have... I would have kept these things the same. I think I think this this screen here is okay. This This screen here... Okay, so you got campaign, everyone wants to play campaign, that can have its own thing. Versus, if you want to play versus, you can. Horde and Beast, um, you know, they can have the separate thing if they want. Stats and awards, events, and the marketplace, again, they can have their own thing. Now we jump into this, and this is when you've gone into the versus mode. Um, so, I'll disregard multiplayer, I don't really, I mean, uh, private matches, because there is still a lot of... A lot of other settings that could have been changed to make the game more competitive and they weren't added. And even if they are going to be added, they've been added way too late because everyone's going. Um, if I was to say in private matches, they should have you should have been able to alter where the hills spawned. That's that's a key thing. If they want get uh, if they want King of the Hill to be, you know, implemented as a new competitive mode, people should be able to try out hill spawns because you know, a developer can only try so much. If you have a million people on Gears of War changing hills, 
somebody might just find a really nice hill set up and you know then that can be once that's found out that can then be put into the other playlist which I'll talk about that I think the game should have had um so the the reason the game hasn't succeeded for me and uh I'd like this as well if someone posted this on the forums that would be nice to get some opinions from there the reason this hasn't succeeded is because the gamers can't play the way they want to play and they can't experiment I refer back a lot to StarCraft in my videos because I think they've got their setup right. I think there should be a universal setting that allows teams to A, you know, practice on ranked uh, or, you know, just a lone player getting the sense that they are playing a balanced setting. Um, now, what what I would say would be for the private matches, like I say, you should be able to alter the hills, you should be able to alter how long weapons take to respawn. And I'm not talking 20 a minute, 30, I'm talking down to like 22.5 seconds if you wanted. If you felt that was the right time, you should you should be able to at least try it. And the game's been out long enough for, for you to be able to program that in. And there is no excuse for that. Um, so I think private matches again they raved about it said it's going to have more customization than ever before that's not true because you can't even make a map cycle I mean come on who who doesn't want to make a map cycle it makes no sense that is what the whole point you know there are no player matches which I'll get onto but in if you decide to go into a private match for one um you can't you can't think oh I'll play these five maps back to back and me and my friends will have a laugh you have to then back out, start it up again, and it's just it's just a waste of time and people people can't be bothered with it. And that's the truth. Um so I could talk about private matches and settings and the way they should be able to alter because the more people that piss about in private matches thinking, Oh, I wonder what it would be like if the hill spawned here first, then eventually, you know, they might make a, a really good setting, but at the moment we just we can't do that. We just have the basic things and you just have to go well that's it then we'll have to get used to it which is not which is not the idea if you create something competitive um so that's private matches out of the way with next is player player or quick and ranked immediately on this screen there are 16 playlists you've got your eight tdm players choice warzone capture the leader king of the hill wingman shotgun snipers and zeta king of the hill uh, and then you've got those times too because you've got quick and ranked. I would personally order it like this. This is how I'd do the playlist. <clears throat> so in in player matches, I don't believe uh, you should have quick matches. Okay, this is how I would have done it. Um, when you click versus, you should have player and then ranked. And that's it. So if you click, you have player, private and ranked. Those are the three modes you've got. So if you click private, you know, nobody can join your session. That is a private game unless you invite them or they join your session if you make it joinable. And you can dick around with the settings as much as you want and try and find some game balance for competitive. Player matches should um, should be in the game. Everybody knows this that plays Gears 1. The only reason Gears 1 kept going for so long was because of player matches. And there was a clear difference between the two. If you wanted to jump on gears, you had you had a, you had two mindsets to go into. You had I'm going to jump onto gears and play an annex match for three hours straight with snipers, torpedoes, boom shots everywhere, and just just dick around and have some fun. Um, or you might end up someone might end up hosting a pri uh, someone might end up hosting a player match, and they may have scrim settings on there. In the in the player match, and you might think, hey, this is a good opportunity for me and my friends to get some practice. I'll invite some of my guys, and we can get a bit of practice going. And you know, we'll we'll use this guy's lobby for a bit of practice. So you could really piss about for as much as you wanted. There was weapon swaps. If someone was been obnoxious, active down in, just double beaten down, just or or just been really laggy. Do you know that laggy guy that sponges everything? You could kick him out. And the ability to administrate your own lobbies is a big thing in gaming. I mean, look at PC. Um, there are there are hackers, there are glitches, but they have admins on every lobby. And you know, if you report them, they're booted off the server. And you also have Punk Buster, but you know, we're not going to get into that. So you don't really need that that much on Xbox. 
Um, so you, the player matches should return because again you can you can host cycles. Um, you can join you can join the map that you want, and that's a big thing as well. If you click player match and you think you search the mode uh, King of the Hill player match and you think hey. There's Bullet Marsh King of the Hill. Someone's hosted that. I haven't played that in a while. Um, I'll I'll do that. And eventually, after a, you know a couple of months, some maps will be less hosted. I imagine Overpass would be less ho would be less hosted. So you won't have to play terrible maps because people wouldn't have put it on the cycle, which will increase your fun. And also, you know, if you do miss them, if your thing is well, like saying, oh well, after a couple of months, no nobody was hosting. Uh, nobody was hosting King of the Hill and Overpass, and I really liked that. Well, go ahead and host your own lobby, and you can get other people that enjoy King of the Hill Overpass. And then when you get talking to the guys that like King of the Hill Overpass in your lobby, you can then party up and head into Ranked. This is, brings me on to my next topic, Ranked. Um, I also forgot to mention that in player matches, I would have no rank, and you would earn no XP. It would show your rank, such as mine, uh, Green79, but I wouldn't earn any XP. This discourages stack teams. I also wouldn't have a win loss. There would be no stats tracked for player matches. Absolutely none. Not your headshots, not your kills, not anything. Maybe maybe kills with a shotgun and lancer. Um to, you know, for your medals. Even medals are stupid really. I wouldn't even have them in the game. But um yeah, I think I think you shouldn't earn XP. That discourages people from getting a full man team and sweating and public but even if people did that you can kick them and that's the that's the great thing about being able to host your own lobby so you, that's what i mean you know what you were getting in gears 3 you think i'm going to head on and i'm going to play was just going to join random lobbies on maps that i like and play with my friends or or new people and if i'd like these new guys or people that i've met then we can go into ranked and team up it would create more of a team atmosphere in ranked cuz on gears 1 um, you kind of knew you could dick around in a player match or you'd be like, right, I, I want to play some ranked now. Albeit if it was to get a clip and you wanted it to be ranked or you just enjoyed ranked, which I did. I loved ranked. I got like top 1000 for quite a while. It's pretty sad, but whatever. Um, so yeah, now we head into ranked. So immediately we know all these playlists are ranked. There's no thinking, oh, should I search quick match? Everybody that is chosen to select ranked is now in this pool, this pool of players that you can that are shared out between the playlists. So immediately everyone that's playing player is in player matches and everyone that's playing ranked is in ranked. They're not playing competitive quick match. You know, there's nothing like that. You're in ranked. So the playlists I would have would be ranked TDM, okay? Across the across the board I would find universal settings to begin with. This is uh, a big thing for for StarCraft. The only reason people play that game is because they're playing the same game that the professionals play. And um, there are no different settings. My game that I load, and I'm I'm the lowest rank you possibly can be in StarCraft. I'm the lowest rank, but I'm still playing the exact same settings and game mode that the top professionals are. So I can think to myself, well, it's not because the professionals have a got a different map a map layout or B got different you know different units to use or different guns it's generally because I suck and I accept that I suck and more people should um, I don't go onto the forums and complain about balance on StarCraft because I know everything that I'm using is available to the pros but they've they're miles ahead of me in skill range and they're at a, ha at a higher level so it's definitely that the game's not in uh, the game's unbalanced it's just because I suck um, so I'd have a universal setting. The universal setting would be for me, would be um, would be National Answer. It would be Zeta's rules, okay? <clears throat> and people saying, well, I can't get my medal. Go and use your sword off in quick match. Go and use your retro in quick match. Yep, you'll probably get kicked, but you might also find a lobby where he's like, ah, oh, nah, I'm a I'm a chill guy that's hosting. You can stay in the lobby. You you won't get kicked. It doesn't bother me. Um. So yeah, you can get your medals that way if you want. Um, so in ranked, I would have no stopping power, um, purely because it makes the game faster. Um, I would have Lancer and Sword, uh, Nash, not Sword of Start. Oh Christ, no, Nasher Start. Um, 
I would tweak the settings. Um, I would have, like I say, Zeta, there is no stopping power, but there is no active damage. I would remove actives completely from, from a Lancer. It's not needed. It's got a massive clip as it is. I'd change the rate of fire from a slow rate of fire. Um from a slow rate of fire to a high rate of fire and low damage so you're firing out a lot of bullets quickly and you have to hit a little bit bullets rather than hitting a few bullets slowly and then putting you full red and um, that allows the player to make something happen and that's what makes the game interesting and um, if a player thinks to themselves oh i'm in a 2v1 here i can do this i can do this i can make something happen it's more interesting for the player and the spectators but if the if the guy with one person is thinking, well, these guys are just going to stand opposite sides of each other and lance me down, I can't do anything, then, you know, he's probably just going to give up and it's just going to be boring. And that's what seems to happen now. Um, so with a universal setting, um, people that are playing ranked will be able to compare their gameplays to the pro gameplays. Um, say the pros have this, the pro, basically the pros should have the same settings as ranked, ranked should have the same settings as the pros. That way, people that are playing rank can go, yep, uh, I'm just messing up because, look, this this pro guy, he can pull off a 1v5 clutch. It's obviously not the game being imbalanced or sucking. It's just me sucking. Um, so that's what I'd do. Um, that way, teams, teams that have decided to play ranked, you know, you can have stacked teams in ranked because I'd understand it in ranked then because, for one, you'd be earning XP and you'd be earning your rank and two, you'd have your win-loss up there and that. So I could understand uh, that because then you'd be practicing. You'd have teams that are practicing for ranked. At the moment, you've just got teams not practicing to get better. They've just got teams whoring out for wins. And they do that in quick match a lot. Um, and ranked's actually not that bad, to be honest, because quite a lot of the time you get better players in ranked. And you'd find that as well. You wouldn't get stuck with sucky teammates because your sucky teammates, they'd be sick of getting beasted and they'd just end up playing r player matches with the mates. Um, so it increases the competitive nature of the game. Um, so I think that's it. There needs to be a universal setting. There needs to be player matches in ranked. Um, no XP for player matches. No rank. No stats. No nothing. Um, the opposite can be said for ranked. You should earn ranking. Um, you should have your stats tracked, such as headshots or whatever. Um, but I'd also just quickly talk about the playlist. I'd have TDM. I'd have TDM ranked. I wouldn't have player's choice because everybody should be allowed to play on the server. Um, another thing to note is player matches wouldn't have, obviously they wouldn't have servers if you could kick somebody. So player's choice isn't needed, so that frees up a slot. I'd have execution on one, war zone on the other. Capture the leader would be replaced by guardian. Um, King of the hill would be there. Wingman would be there. Shotgun and snipers would disappear. That can go in the the um, player matches just for people to dick around in. Um, I'd, and then obviously Zeta wouldn't be needed because, um, well, the Zeta settings are across all game modes. So basically I've freed up three playlists and I'd choose to have an experimental one in there such as a bomb, a bomb diffuser one, the one that Arctic talked about when the game wasn't even released still should have been made and tried because it could have been the best thing ever um and two other experimental ones um that you know i i personally haven't had the time to think about it and um, but i'd probably come up with some and i'm sure the community would so there'd be two three spots there for somebody um and that's what i do with matchmaking it's 20 minutes long i'd appreciate if it was posted on the forums um, that's personally what I do. I think it increases the competitive nature. It makes streams more enjoyable because players can compare it to their own gameplay. There's a universal setting. You earn your rank. Um, you know there are there are other things that have screwed people over and makes people not want to play the game. Rank resets is one, um, and stuff like that. There's just rank resets. There's the mantle kick not working, and I haven't even bothered to talk about gameplay gameplay balance that much. I've got another